I've always been a huge fan of horror movies, and um, I saw so many horror movies where there was that blonde girl who would always get herself killed. I started feeling bad for her. I thought, you know, it's time she had a chance to, you know, take back the night. And so the idea of Buffy came from just the very simple thought of a beautiful blonde girl walks into an alley, a monster attacks her, and she's not only ready for him, she trounces him. Ugh. Casting Buffy was extremely difficult. Sarah came in to read for the part of Cordelia and actually got the part. And it was the network who said, well, she's wonderful. Why don't we, why don't we see if she can do Buffy? And the moment she read for it, um, it was clear that, uh, you know, we found her. Welcome to the Hellmouth was the first episode we wrote, and it involves her moving to Sunnydale, not knowing that it's on a Hellmouth. The Hellmouth came from my friend Tommy and me sitting around saying, you know, we need a reason why every monster in, you know, in history would come to Sunnydale. And so the Hellmouth became sort of the central concept for us because it allows us to get away with anything. Sunnydale High is based on every high school um, in America because um, so many kids feel like their school is built on a hellmouth. What makes the show popular is the central myth of high school as horrific. Willow, nice dress. Good to know you've seen the softer side of Sears. The humiliation, the alienation, you know, the confusion of high school is taken to such great proportions that it becomes demonic. <laughs> People out of high school respond to what's going on in this show because I don't think you ever get over high school. <laughs> Angel was sort of the X factor. Why are you following me? I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, I don't bite. We wanted someone in Buffy's life who wasn't, you know, stable, but inevitably someone she would become attracted to. The Harvest is the second half of our two-part pilot. It really shows the master and what his plan is. A slayer. She mustn't be allowed to interfere with the Harvest. And it puts Buffy up against some really terrible people and it sort of shows her what the stakes are um, here in Sunnydale. Are you okay? We see the group cohere for the first time as sort of a fighting unit. When Buffy opens that chest, on, at first we see, you know, all the stuff a girl is expected to have. Underneath that is, you know, steaks, crosses, holy water, garlic, all the things that a slayer would use that aren't found in most um, teenage girls' trunks, I think. One of our trickiest shots, which was that we actually took um, a symbol and attached it to a steady cam, um, and then followed it along so that we had what we called symbol cam. Heads up. Sarah did almost behead the cameraman with the symbol, but um, uh, she didn't mean to.